Hey Planner Babes, welcome, welcome, welcome back. If you're coming back and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, that's awesome. My name's Crystal. Um, today I'm gonna do a planner flip of a planner that I've been putting together for the past couple months and it's a holiday planner. And I celebrate Christmas, so it has a lot of Christmas themes into it, but you can use a lot of the answers for anything. And there's a couple of shops where I bought the bundles from that are really, really awesome that I'm gonna show you. Um, but yeah, so we'll start with the planner cover, of course. This one's a Filofax Molden in the personal size. I got it for a pretty good deal on Amazon, I think. I, yeah, I know, I think it was cheaper than the Filofax website. It was like 84 bucks or 74 bucks Canadian. Uh, but yeah, so, but the only thing is, is that it does not lay flat at all. Like not even a little bit. So, and I've been trying to train it. Like, I don't even like, I'm not even trying to be nice to it. I'm like, I'm bending the spine back and trying to hurt its back <laughs> and get it to lay. So that helps a little bit when I'm using it, but, and when the inserts are like that, but I close it again and it's back to square one. But anyway, so that's just something I thought I would mention if you're looking into this planner. So there we go. And it comes with a zipper right here with a tiny little zipper pouch. And these are actually holiday cards and they're from Hey Planner Girl and they're freebies. So, so this one says like holiday checklist. Sorry, that wasn't even in frame. Holiday checklist. This one's like um, gifts tracker. And she has a whole bunch of them too. So they're really cute and they're freebies. And she has really good um, Christmas freebies. There's a lot of good freebies in here as well. A lot of people have really awesome holiday freebies. <laughs> I was hesitant to say the word again <laughs> in like a 30 second span. But so this will start off with the front cover, of course. This is from Posh Peppa Tree and it's a freebie. And this is coffee. Christmas and music. I printed this one on acetate if you're wondering what that material is. This one's printed on vellum, so this kind of like sheer trans transparent, no, like kind of medieval opaque ish, oh, horrible description, um, paper. And this one's from a freebie from Marge Plants. And I'll link everything in the description box below. This is a winter freebie from Ash Plants. And then this one was from Twines and Paper. And then another freebie from Magic Meets Paper, the Ho Ho Ho. And this one is from uh, somebody on Etsy that I'll put in the description box below because I can't remember it off the top of my head. And then I just have some post-its here. And then this is just something that I made in Canada a couple years ago. It just has snowflakes like lining across and I printed on acetate. So it kind of looks like that overlaid. And the first bundle that I have in here is the paper test designs bundle. And well, I have them all like meshed together, but the first one I'm showing you is paper test designs. And here comes my cat. So if you, anything knocks over, I'll try to edit it out. Like in my last video it did, or if you see little paw paws, I won't edit that out. Nope. Here we go. Uh, okay. Let's scoot over beside me let's go beside me there we go there we go you can watch but don't touch <laughs> it's like having a little well it's not like it's not as hard as having a baby but it's it's like how watching a little kid right you gotta make sure they don't hurt themselves or getting into everything um but not if disrupting the other pets <laughs> that's a big one but yeah no oh sorry and you know what i just lied to oh my god i just lied this is a freebie from hey planner girl yeah it's a freebie and it's a beautiful table of contents that you can edit yourself and it comes with section covers and then when you edit the cut table of contents it edits the section covers automatically for you to match what your sections are it's awesome so yeah this is what it looks like and it comes with six sections to list and then that's also a design from her and this is a winter mood board that i found on pinterest and another like image i found on pinterest pinterest is a really good resource too if you just want to save the image and then if you go to canva.com i'll list it in the description box it's a really fun fairly user-friendly editing like website and you can edit videos you can edit photos um it's yeah no it's sorry my mom called it's really fun to use and what you do is you save the image on pinterest and then you open you upload the photo onto the on the canva website and then you can like just click it and then it shows up on the screen and then you can like size it or move it around and you can do a whole bunch of stuff to it so it's really fun but these um uh dividers are from salty 22 there we go i got it out and they're her printable version so i printed them on vellum and i laminated them so they're a little bit sturdier and i always have an inbox as my first section i just can't help it and then this is one of the section covers that comes with a hey planner girl table of contents and it's beautiful it's winter themed and it has like a number one handwritten inbox and then this is the little things that you can add in there so i put like jot it down don't forget and brain dump 
So yeah, no, I love that. Really nice of her. And then now we're into the paper. No, this was something I made to match the paper test designs um, covers because she didn't have an inbox one. So this one's, I made it, but it's totally inspired by hers. And I rounded all the corners if you're wondering too. Pinterest, pretty sure. And then these are some inserts that I made on Canva just for an inbox. And then this is a Posh Peppa Tree. I swear we'll get to the bundles. I swear we'll get to the bundles. And then this is Posh Peppa Tree freebie. This was something from Pinterest, I believe. I don't see a name on it. And this was Simplicity is the Ultimate Sophistication. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember which shop I got this one from, but I have had it at the file for many years. This one's a freebie from Marge Plants, the Ho Ho Ho. And this was another um, one that I got from Etsy that I'll list in the description box. And then, oh my gosh, we're actually starting off with the Latua Notes planner. So Latua Notes is another fabulous shop that had a really nice holiday bundle. And it comes with, it's an, actually an autumn winter bundle. So it comes with three months that you can, undated, that you can use and like a little bunch of prompts you'll see. So this is her front cover. And then I print it on there. But then we go into the actual Xmas planner section. That's what I made number two. And then this is paper test designs. Finally, this is her front cover page. So it says the Christmas planner. And then on the back of it, it has the December calendar and it's undated as well. So you just put your own dates in. And then on the back of that, you can print your master to-do list and you can print whatever you want. You don't have to print every single page in the bundle. Um, you can just like curate your own kind of planner that you want. You, if you don't like, if you're not a big cooker, I'm not a big cook, but my fiance likes to cook. So I printed those ones for him, but yeah, so you can do whatever you want with it. This is, uh, the Latua Notes autumn winter bundle, but I printed it on vellum and this was the design that came with the file as well. And I have her kind of stuffed. These rings are like way smaller than I usually use. I usually use 30 if you didn't notice <laughs> and then so these ones I can't I don't know are they 20 23 23 maybe are they are they I don't think they're 25 but that's another image there and then it starts with October so another design there that she provides for you to print on and then it has an autumn bucket list and it has some really fun ideas on there did you see that and then um you have a section here for you write down your autumn favorites so it has like Decor item, drinks, film, books, colors, planners, pens, wardrobe pieces, um, treats. And then, so I just have this like divide page divider here from cloth and paper that I wasn't using because it says sketchbook, but I thought it's, this is a kind of artistic planner. So I thought I'd put it in here. And then I was writing um, what I wanted to put on my October vision board because the first journal prompt is October mood board to make. And I was just like, I've been homesick. So I had some extra time and I really wanted to get into journaling. So, oh, maybe I'll show you my TN at the end of this. Yeah, I will. Um, that I, because I journaled in my TN, Traveler's Notebook, everything instead of journaling here because it's already really stuffed. And I kind of wanted to keep it like lots of stickers and stuff. But so this comes with your October calendar and it's undated. And then it has an October bucket list that you can fill in yourself. And then I just printed that like design that she provides. And then this is my October mood board that I made. I found most of it on Pinterest, to be honest. This is from Planner Rebel Co. It's a freebie. This is a freebie from Journaling Home. And then we're on to November. Oh, this is comes with the Planner Rebel Co. Um, freebies, the autumn there. And then we're on to November. So it has the same situation. The November calendar, bucket list spots, November journaling. And their prompts are different each month. So you're not getting the same prompts every month, which is kind of nice. And then my November mood board. Um, something from Pinterest and then this is just I was writing down my autumn bucket list for making notes and my goals because they ask you what you want to have your goals to be each month and then the December one I haven't started yet I'm going to wait till it's actually winter for that um, so it has a bucket list challenge oh I didn't know this so it has a winter self-care bucket list challenge which is really fun and you have a spot for your winter favorites and then December calendar there your journal prompt bucket list to fill in. I have a piece of Tomoe River paper there for notes, I guess. And then this is um, another pin or interest mood board that I found. Pinterest. This is from Magic Meets Paper Freebie. This guy here, I think it's from Pinterest, but it might be from Lindsay Scribbles too. I would check her out. She's got some cute ones, it's cute freebies. And this is another freebie from Hey Planner Girl. Can't believe it. It's amazing. Yeah, Hey Planner Girl. 
And then that's from her too. And then this is an image that I found on Canva that I printed on vellum. And same with this with the snowflakes there. Oh no, this is from Plain Chic Designs. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, this is from Plain Chic Designs. It's a freebie with the snowflakes. Beautiful. And then we're on to my third section, which I made budget. So this is a paper test designs and it's the Christmas budget, it says. So you have a page here for your category, your budget amount, and then description of what the items are that you have to buy, spent, and balance of your budget. So I have a couple of those. This is Paper Test Designs and it's her Black Friday um, one. So I was planning on shopping at Love and Paper or Estelle and maybe a couple or one shop on Etsy for stickers. I'm not too sure yet. I'm kind of tight for money right now and got to focus on buying gifts instead of stuff for myself. But I try to get something from cloth and paper every Black Friday because they have pretty good sales. So there it is. <laughs> um, this is Cyber Monday list that you can make. And then this is a Latua Notes Black Friday. Sorry, that was my dog just getting up. He's a new piece of Bernard. He weighs like 160 pounds. So every time he moves, it's like an earthquake. <laughs> this is a Black Friday shopping list from, but this is from Latua Notes, but I just threw everything in here from all the bundles and then the third bundle that I have in here is from Peanuts Planner Co and I really love her inserts they are super efficient and I like the style of them and yeah no they're awesome they're really functional as well and this is her Black Friday um shopping list so I have those and then this is a Latua Notes one it says family and friends wish list and it says dear Santa so uh you have a spot for the name spot for the gifts and details and if it's been purchased and wrapped so you have that and then this one is from Latua Notes as well, and it's her budget overview. Oh, I have it in the wrong section. I should put it further up. But yeah, so you have your categories and then description and then the date and amounts. And then on the back, you have an order tracker from her. This is a freebie from Pickly Juice. And so is that, which I love so much. And this one is something that I made on Canva. I'm pretty sure, or it could be, pretty sure it's from Canva, but I hope it's, not a freebie and I'm totally being wrong. Sorry about that if I am. This is from Ivy Mill Inc, but I edited it in Adobe to write three there because it actually says one, I believe, because it was she made it in 2021 or yeah, so I made it 2023. So that's why it's not like the same font. And then this is another one from the bundle on Etsy that I made, bought, I printed that on vellum though this time. And then my fourth section I made was menu. And then, so I'm really going over like the, in every insert and the sections too, just in case you want ideas of how to put together a pl holiday planner for yourself too. That's why it's going to probably be a little bit of a long video. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is the Christmas menu from Paper Test Designs. So this one has spot for your appetizers, all levels of your dinner there, um, desserts, like the main dishes, etc. And then this is a list for just on the menu that you can make. And then on the back you have a grocery list and then you have recipe this is so cute with the little icons too recipe um inserts there and then this is latua notes thanksgiving mini one so you have your starter box your mains your desserts bon appetit and then you have recipes on the back and then you have your grocery list over here and more recipe cards there and another grocery list because you have your christmas menu now that you can make and then again with the recipe cards and grocery lists and then she actually provides, uh, oh, where's the other one? Oh yeah, she actually provides recipes to make Christmas cookies and pumpkin pie. And I'm actually gonna do both of these, I'm pretty sure. I'll let you guys know how it is if I do it and when I do it. No, I'm gonna do it. That's on my bucket list, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm saying it right now to the world. <laughs> and then this is the Peanuts Planner Co. It comes in the bundle. It's a cooking plan for the day before and it has 1 a.m. all the way to 12 p.m. So 24 hours for you to write down like, cause sometimes you know turkeys you've got to put them in you got to start like doing your stuff to them i'm not a very good cook <laughs> whatever you do you do it and stuff so yeah that's cool insert and then another one from penis planner co or maybe i should say pp co because in the um what's it called where it has the text down here subtitles yeah subtitles yeah i think <laughs> i always have them on too because my I'm always like getting distracted. Like I have pretty bad hearing. So I like reading what it says too, what people are saying. But Peanuts Planner Co. always says Penis Planner Co. 
I don't know if you've noticed that or you will notice it now, but have a giggle at that. <laughs> Sorry, Venus Platter Co. So I'm going to say PP code from now on. And then, which is still PP, but anyways, this is dinner guests here. You write their name, the dish here, what they're bringing, and if they've confirmed or canceled or whatnot. And then this is something from Canva. And then this is another pickly juice insert. It's so funny when you're dead inside, but it's Christmas. So true. I have skeleton lights hanging up in my bathroom right now, but that's because it's Halloween. <gasps> Maybe I'll leave them up for Christmas. It's a good idea. This is pickly juice as well. This is from My Mineral Planner, New Year, New Mindset. And then this is a freebie from Hey Planner Girl. And she's got beautiful dashboards too for the seasons, which is amazing. Printed that on photo paper. And then my next section here is gifts. So from Paper Test Designs, the gift planner. So you have your stocking stuffers here that you can list the person and then all the little things. And then this from PP Co is a gift list and then you have your stocking stuffers here and you can write little notes. And then like you can put the name of the person up here, um, and write notes of kind of like maybe what they said, stocking stuffers and then like actual gifts down here. And then another gift tracker from Paper Test Designs. So you have your recipe, recipient, gift, budget, purchase wrapped. I know sometimes it's hard to see the insert, so I wanted to read them out for you. Let me know if you don't need that or if it's a bit annoying um, from going too far into detail. These ones are gift ideas, which I really, really like. So from Latua Notes, this one's from Latua Notes. So you have a spot to write all your names and ideas that you want to get. Nobody watches my videos on these lists, so that's totally okay. Um, this is from PP Co, and it's another gift list, but it's a little shorter and like straight to the point. So if you have like extended family members where you're only buying like one or two things, this is a good list to have. And then this is a gifts received list from PP Co. So you have a spot for who's it from, who's it for, um, like if it's for a family member and you're recording it for them, and if, what the item was. And then you have, oh, not yet. Uh, it'll come, it'll come. It's a cards insert. And then a Dear Santa for your own paper test designs um, wants for Santa Christmas. And that's paper test designs too. And then this is a freebie from Magic Meets Paper. Actually, most of the deco in here is a freebie. This is a freebie too from Marge Plants. And then we're on to like the list section. So like, and this is a bunch of lists from paper test designs. Um, it has the holiday bucket list. This is a movie marathon and a Christmas playlist. And then for PP Co, it has your holiday movies, uh, a couple inserts for that. And then from Latua Notes, you have your holiday movies. So I have a lot of duplicated inserts, but honestly, they're designed differently and they say a lot of different things. So it really doesn't bother me. I'm getting a lot out of each bundle for what, what, what it is. So I'm happy with it. And then uh, this is a Latua Notes holiday tracker. So you can have habits or anything that you want to track. Maybe if you want to shovel the driveway with snow and you got to track it each day there that's not really fun though um, but then this is a crafts and decorations insert from paper test designs and it has indoor decorations and outdoor decorations and holiday activities to do and then latua notes has a holiday activities as well and then and a books to read list from latua notes and then PP Co has holiday traditions and I love this list. And if you didn't know, you can actually edit if you have Adobe Pro, you can edit um, PP Co's inserts because she uses the same font that they provide. So you can actually change the writing there um, if you wanted to. And when actually I did, so I'll show you an example at the end of the planner. Uh, and then this is from Paper Test Designs. It's a Christmas card making list. So you have a spot for the address and the recipient. And then you have another Christmas card list, but this one's from Latua Notes, and a spot for the address and if it's been handwritten, digital or printed, sent and received. And then another cards one. So we're covering our bases from PP Co. And it says sent, um, personalized and purchased. So you would do it in the other reverse option, other reverse way. <laughs> and cards to send for thank you cards from PP Co. And then I'm sure by now too, you're like kind of getting each insert style. So you can probably tell whose is whose, but just in case party guest list from paper test designs. So if you're having a party, invite me, invite me, just, just kidding. <laughs> or not. <laughs> not, we don't have any parties planned this year. Um, unfortunately that's okay though. We'll spend a lot of time at home with the kids. Um, well actually we might have one holiday family party at, um, Mike's grandma's house which is their great grandparents, which is really cool that she's still alive for them. But anyways, so this is a visits and events from PP Co. So you have the, like the details of the event, the dish you're bringing, if you're bringing one, gifts purchased, scheduled, confirmed, time, date, check mark. So 
So we have that. And then we have a shopping list from Latou and Oats. So you can just put in the category. So you can put like toys, makeup, clothes, and those kind of things. So you have them all categorized. Games. We were thinking of buying the kids a Nintendo DS, I think it is. Or the one that can be a console as well as handheld. So they can both play it. There's two little ones. And then we can play it too when they're not using it. <laughs> so it's a win-win. <laughs> um, and then we have a winter really cute insert from a Paper Test Designs. It's a winter bucket list. And then she drew all these little inserts. All those little guys, I mean. And then this is a Christmas countdown. So you can put a dot sticker on the day of December. So a dot sticker on December 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, etc. All the way to the 25th. And then this is our Posh Pepper Tree freebie. This is Mary over and over again which I love and then this is from Dear Paper Plans I did purchase this one and then we have some more post-its I like to keep the backs decorated as well with those random post-its and then we have a notes section so we have notes this is from Pinterest or Canva I believe and then we just have some note inserts so these ones are from Paper Test Designs so they have the cute little notes up there with a the little design then we have ones from the two and oats and it has like checklist so um an area for you to put check mark and like um sections off if you want and from her as well we have a notes with a nice big checklist which i really love the style and then it says grateful on the back so you can put your gratitudes if you want to and then she also made a task list so you can check it off if it's for halloween thanksgiving or christmas and you can write all your tasks on there check them off and then this is that Peanuts Planner Co, PB Co, whatever. <laughs> I love it. I love it all the same. Um, insert that said holiday traditions and that I was explaining that you can edit in Adobe. And that's what I did. So I made it to say tasks. So I have a beautiful big check marks box to this. Um, says tasks, which is great. And then this one here is from Latua Notes, just lined paper. Latua Notes. Her, her, her. So yeah, that's on my notes section. I haven't really got too many going, but I have it all prepared, like <laughs> a lot prepared. And then this is a freebie from Marge Plans. And then this is from Pinterest, or Canva. And then another mood board from Pinterest. And I believe this is just from Canva I made. They have lots of images that you can like look up. You can look up anything and they probably have an image for it. And then my next section, which is my last section, is miscellaneous here. And I made the number wrong because you can edit the number as well that's why i you that's why it only provides you like your table of contents for six um sections but i actually have eight with these dividers so but you can change the number yourself if you want but i forgot to there uh this is so the miscellaneous and i made this i want to like be inspired by paper test designs and so we have a Latua notes and it's your decorations plans. And it's, I've made, I want this year to be like very traditional Christmas. We just moved into this house and it's a nice big house for our family. And I just feel like it's very, yeah, I want to put stuff up on the mantle. You know, we're going to get a real tree, which we do every year. And put, I want to put Christmas lights up outside and do the whole shebang, make it really nice memory for the kids. And then, so it has some like decoration own, decoration to buy. And then like some notes there and then some more decoration plans. So it's the same pretty much. I think so, just a different design on there. And then home and interior and tree, but you can use it for whatever you want, right? And then this is Magic Meets Paper Freebie. And then this is from Canva, Hello December. And then this is, I believe, from Canva as well. This is one of those page lifters that I get from, when I got from a thrift store planner, and I always say, check out the thrift store. Um, Vic Plans actually gave me that idea when I was watching one of her Instagrams or YouTubes. She's, I love her planners. If you want to check her out, I'll put her in the description box. But yeah, no, she said, go check out all the stationary stuff at your local thrift store. And I do every time I go, I go just for that reason. And I always find personal size planners, but Franklin Covey, um, leather planners, and they always have like plastic inserts, you know, where you can put your card pockets and everything. It's amazing. So definitely do that. If you have a lazy day or something like that, you can need something to do. And then some more cards from Hey Planner Girl that are free. So holiday bucket list, and it comes with a bunch of ideas there. This one is just a beautiful little saying there. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry if that was a little long, but I just wanted to really get into detail for you guys in case you wanted to look into buying one of the bundles yourself so you know what you're getting. Um, I really appreciate y'all, and I hope you're having an amazing holiday season. It's coming up to Halloween. It's October 23rd today. I'm so excited. I love Halloween so much. We are thinking of going out 
because we don't have the kids that weekend. We get the little ones every weekend. Um, but sometimes we take a weekend off just, you know, to have a day date or something like that. And I definitely want to dress up and I have a Sailor Moon costume that I'm really tempted to wear or a Britney Spears costume that I put together from her Oops, I Did It Again music video with the red bodysuit. I found one online from Amazon, I think it was. And it, yeah, no, it looks really good. And it sucks me in too, which is great. <laughs> so thanks again so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the below and I'll try to answer them for you. No problem. Okay, bye now. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Thank goodness I was paying attention when I was editing to what I was saying, um, which is kind of the point of editing. But anyways, um, of when I said I would show you my flip of my TN that I made the, of the journal prompts. So this is my traveler's notebook. I, I have a couple of them. This one's in the standard size and it's in the camel. I put the green string on and I have this little charm from Amazon. It says Brave. And then I have the um, brass clip there. Sorry, my dog's getting up. So just kind of... I have a clear case from Cat's Espresso Co. on there. and just have some cards there. This is from Amazon. This is kind of an extra little flip. Blah, 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 blah. This is the weeks or the months, sorry, that I haven't used and dated. That's the other side of the canvas thing, other side of the clear pocket thing. And then in here, so where are we? Okay, so this is the first spread that I did put it in the center let's do that <laughs> and it's and I reprinted the inserts so I reprinted the journal prompts what they were and I reprinted the October um kind of like hoverboard and and so I and I glued them in and I tipped in the October one and I um, also printed the design that she provides from the two this is from the two notes on the back so I put some washi tape on some stickers and then you flip it over and then you start with my answers so I this numbered them and then kind of journal and more stickers going on there and then i also did november because i was just really in the mood and november is still very autumn -y. so they're all different journal prompts like i said in the video and which is super awesome um so i did the same kind of style here tipped it in over here and then more washi tape and then i finished it here and then i'm going to put down here because one of the prompts is um, pictures that happened in November and obviously it's not November yet so I'm going to put them down here and then I have December is all set up and ready to go because I wanted to have them all in a row so in case I did other journaling so I have the December journal prompts the tipped in cover page and then I have and I left myself three pages like the other ones because the other ones um, were three pages yep <laughs> and then um, one of the questions is also to make a mood board and then we already made a mood or yeah, I made the mood board and then so I printed it out and then reprinted it out and then I pasted it in here. So I have October's, November's, and December's. And that's a little note for my fiance. <laughs> Which is really cute. So we're in the middle of the book now. But yeah, so that's awesome. So I just wanted to show you quickly the journal prompts that I had in there. And I had fun doing them too. So I recommend it. Awesome. Okay, bye for real. <laughs>